the exciting results that were that we recently talked about um, as a kind of a midpoint analysis of our MARINA trial in myotonic dystrophy type 1 is that we're taking advantage of the transferrin receptor, delivering that oligonucleotide therapeutic. And for the first time, we've demonstrated that in patients. So taking advantage of this amazing technology, the technology that allows us to design drugs based solely on genomic information, we can then use a monoclonal antibody. And of course, we've spent the past three decades using monoclonal antibodies to target various cells to various proteins in the body. We can then take advantage of that system in order to deliver this novel therapeutic to skeletal muscle cells. And we can alter the course of the disease. So the results that we presented this week or last week were that we could successfully deliver a mon su successfully deliver our siRNA therapeutic to skeletal muscle cells. We produced concentrations in skeletal muscle biopsies, which had been associated with pharmacologic activity in, in animal studies. We were able to demonstrate target engagement or knockdown of the target messenger RNA, changing the expression of the messenger RNA with the concentrations that were achieved in the MARINA trial. And finally, we were able to induce some of the more, more important ramifications of that change in the expression. So we began to see actual disease modification, both at the molecular level and in a select number of patients at the, at the, therapeutic, le at the therapeutic level. So essentially what we've been able to demonstrate in the MARINA trial is that our technology works. It delivers our therapeutic agent to muscle. We can get pharmacologically active levels of the drug into muscle, produce the change in RNA that we are seeking. We then had the appropriate disease modifying effect both at the molecular level and at the, at the, at the um, functional benefit level. The real significance is even broader than just myotonic dystrophy. The real significance is that, as I said, this really opens up a whole new field of, of different therapeutic modal different therapeutic targets that we can now use and now employ to tackle rare diseases of skeletal muscle. As you know, there are a number of different RNA processing diseases in skeletal muscle. Um, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, one of those, one example of that. And right now we've got some approved programs in Duchenne muscular, approved drugs in Duchenne muscular dystrophy, but not nearly as effective as we, as we would like. There are other programs, for example, our program in facial scapular humeral dystrophy is an area that's a completely unmet medical need at this time. Again, that's a disease that can be treated at the molecular level with the technology that we're developing today. So we have in, we've developed some really interesting early data at this midpoint assessment at the two lowest doses in our MARINA trial, one milligram per kilogram, two milligrams per kilogram, dosed as infrequently as every three months. Yet the real promise is for the broader platform, our ability to target cell and tissue types in other rare diseases, both in mus muscle and hopefully in the future in other rare diseases in other cell and tissue types where these kinds of therapies are important.